I've never seen a human skull in real life. Yeah. There you go. It's a little bit confronting. Ever since I was a little kid, I hated scary movies. I remember watching Stephen King's It when I was 12 and I had nightmares for months after. Fast forward 11 years, I'm currently 23 years old and I can't even watch the trailer for a horror movie. So the other day, my friend Mike told me that there is this really cool photo location in Paris. However, there is a catch. How do you feel about going into the catacombs today? I have really no idea. Yeah. What to expect. How about you? No, no, hold on. I'm, I'm shivering. Oh, yeah. That's how, oh, that's how, that's how scared I am. Oh, Mike's very scared. Despite this photo location being a bit more on the creepy side, the boys and I were still excited to go out and explore a new location. Shit, this keeps going down. What the hell? I, don't know why. I didn't realize it was this far down underground. I think it's like 20 meters underground. I'm like that Russian meme, you know, the, the drunk Russian guy and he steps out of the door and he's like... <laughs> the thing you have to realize is we're on a guided tour here. So this is like you pay a ticket, you come here, but the catacombs go on for so long and people get lost down here. And I'm assuming they never get found. So I'm just glad that we are on a guided tour and not just venturing ourselves because you would not want to get lost down here. As the boys and I went deeper and deeper into the catacombs, things started to feel strange. I can't exactly tell you what it was, but there was just this weird vibe that was there and we were definitely not ready for what we were about to experience. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've never seen a human skull in real life. Yeah. There you go. It's pretty creepy. Not to mention the wall is built up of their arms or legs. Damn. Just bones. This is hectic. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a little bit confronting, to be honest. Like, I guess when you're taking photos, you feel like you're in like a photography mode. But when you're, when you think about it, it's pretty fucking crazy. I don't know if it's like placebo or something, but I can just feel this like breeze. Like yeah. an eerie yeah. breeze yeah. Yeah. It, does, yeah. it doesn't feel Cold like a breeze. normal breeze it feels like there's something passing through it doesn't feel like wind mm. I've never felt like this before it's interesting it's just so much to take in like I don't know how I feel about this like yeah it's just skulls like looking at you everywhere human skulls it's important to photograph yeah I'm just glad we came here to film this video I feel like there's a bit more meaning behind this one I think what's so interesting about this place is that like you have like bones and stuff here but they're stacked up right to the back so like you can see there's skulls that sit here on the front but that, that doesn't mean it doesn't go all the way to the back mm. around the whole thing underneath Paris like it's hard to translate how many bodies are under here there's just this gate and then it just goes a tunnel of skulls into darkness. I don't want to look down there. Fuck <laughs> I mean, none of us really like horror shit, but Liam really hates it. So, you're doing good. Don't think about it. <laughs> just don't think about it. Oh, I don't want to look down there. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to, but I don't. No, I can't. Dude, it's even worse. You can hear like water dripping. So it sounds like someone's like either stepping or some, something's in there. That's what it sounds like. Something is in there, Lord. Dude, you know what's funny? Mm, mm, mm. Ah, fuck, I got some water on me. Ah, stepped in water! Ah! <laughs> so, um, they've also got a Ghostbusters kit here as well, just in case. Uh, any, some shit breaks yeah, out. Yeah, any, any stray ghosts come your way, you can just suck them up real quick with the um, emergency pack. That's good. I love modern technology. Exactly, I love it too. <laughs> as we kept shooting around the catacombs, I. I wasn't as afraid because I was with the boys first of all, but I feel like when you're doing photography, it sort of puts you in this flow state and takes you away from maybe the fears or the anxieties that you might be feeling in that exact moment, which is why photography is so cool. 
I'm really happy with these photos that we got today as I feel like they convey the feeling that it was like to be there. And I did that in the editing process by adding some nice blues to the shadows and giving the image a little bit of a fade and also adding grain. And I actually used my new V3 presets to edit all of these photos. So if you want to grab them, they are in the description. They come in a pack of 50, 25 of mine and 25 from North Borders. They also come with a video tutorial showing you how to use each preset and which photo works best on each preset, as well as 50 of our raw images for you to play around with editing. At the end of the day, life's too short to let fears hold you back. So as always, don't think, just do.